All right, as we're walking the streets of London, I sold two cards just now. Jokic 101 Nebula. You guys we never sold. saw that though. You guys never saw that. I'll show you guys though when it comes in. And we just sold an XRC gold of Anthony Richardson. We're walking the streets. Everybody, they know I'm gonna ship it when I get back to the States. But it just goes to show you can do this from anywhere. Doesn't matter what country you're in. Doesn't matter what you're doing. You can buy and sell sports cards from anywhere with this device. Utilize social media. Let's get it. <laughs> We are here at the London Card Show, ready to buy, sell, and trade all basketball and football cards. I heard it's gonna be a lot of soccer and Pokemon, but just like Canada, we're gonna weave our way through and find all the basketball and all the football. Alan, you ready? Let's get it. Let's go. As of now, I've seen about half of the room and I have only seen soccer and Pokemon. And I'm not gonna lie, I heard that's what this show was. But when you go to a show and you don't know what's in the room, you gotta just go and find out. Everybody's gonna say what a show is or what a show does or how a show has been in the past. The only way to truly know how a show is, is you gotta get up, you gotta go, you gotta find out for yourself. Because at the end of the day, one, you're building connections. You're meeting new people. You never know who you can meet today that can, in, in two months, become a customer or become a, even a long-time friend in the hobby. So you gotta go to shows, meet new people, and all it takes is one deal. One deal to make the whole weekend worth it. So let's keep walking, keep meeting new people, saying what's up to the lads here, and having a good time, man. I'm excited to be back at a show. We've been in the city all week. I'm ready to buy some cars now, though. The first football card we've seen. All right, guys, we have found some football. Patrick Mahomes, Justin Herbert. We're gonna find more. Ah, uh, the one super high and they don't want to sell it. Okay. It should be like 100 grand. 100 grand. What's the PSA 10 sell for? 350,000. Oh, shoot. PSA 10 is 320,000. Last sale was Golden Auctions in January. You were offered a Lamborghini for this card. Yeah. Come look at this. So this was in February? Yeah. So you were offered this Lamborghini in exchange for this messy card and you turned it down turn it down why it's a depreciating asset right insurance is 20,000 yep this is an appreciating asset 100% you wait till he retires cross over to a 10 yeah have you tried to cross it no no I mean I get it it's probably super hard to turn that card into a PSA 10 I'm sure PSA is super strict on that card because I'm sure everybody tries to cross it nine fives are doing in the 20s and then a PSA 10 is over 10x a 9.5 of that. The last three sales were like 320, 330, and 300. That's something to think about all weekend long. Do I want to take a risk on this messy card and try to PSA 10? Stay tuned. We walked, we searched, we saw some great cards in the room, and now we're gonna set up and we're gonna see what walks to the table. So we're in Europe. I knew that over here they don't really watch football, so I brought American football. American football. I brought zero American football cards. You gotta be strategic because this guy right here, yeah, he brought like 90% football. I'm like, why? He brought Trey Lance look and Sam Darnold. But you know what I brought? I brought all basketball. Let's take a look at what I got. Starting off, Anthony Edwards, Black Prism, one of one. We got the Shea Blue Optic Contenders. This one's out of 99. Jalen Brunson, Gold Prism, PSA 9. Jalen Brunson, Impeccable Auto. 101. Allen Iverson, 101 contenders. We got some raw cards here. LeBron James, patch auto out of 50. Steph Curry, black gold prism out of five. Steph Curry, tiger stripe prism, PSA 9. We got the Luca Spectra RPA, nice auto, nice patch. This is numbered one out of 49, 10 auto as well. We got the dual auto of Paolo and J-Dub out of 25. And we got the Kobe Bryant X-Fractor out of 50. I got a bunch of football at the house. I think about 10 to 20 cards just delivered as well this weekend we're going to dallas next week i'm gonna be fully loaded with sports cards this weekend we're focusing on basketball and football i'm not expecting a lot of football in the room so i'm gonna try to buy a bunch of basketball cards right now we're gonna set up and we're gonna hope that some basketball walks up to the table we just sold the paulo benchero as you guys know this guy has been balling he dropped 38 points last game but unfortunately we had a letdown of orlando magic we got sam howell in london yeah got the cam camo auto out of 25, and we got the Blue Ice Optic Contenders out of 15. He will take Gino's spot next year. But thank you for showing me. Yeah, we're gonna come to the Germany show. Germany, we are coming. This one does two, yeah, this one's not numbered. It did 285 in August. I mean, he's up since then, but other than that, that's it. You got a number in mind? Just throw me a number. I was kind of thinking 350. I don't know. 
Is that U.S.? Uh, sound? U.S. Anthony Edwards, hottest guy in the hobby right now. Signature Michael series. Michael Jordan's son. She's is Michael Jordan's son. Deal? I know, deal. All right, thank you. That deal is approved by Mojo Sports. <laughs> First deal of the day, Anthony Edwards, signature series auto. Nice one, horizontal, rookie. Edwards is hot, we gotta buy more, let's go. All right, when basketball walks up to the table, we gotta look at all the basketball because one out of every 10 cards is basketball, so we gotta make sure we look at all, uh, look at them all. We look at the Shaden Sharp Gold Optic Auto, Shaden Sharp Gold Select Auto, and a nice Giannis Recon 101. Him and Jacob didn't close the deal, we'll see if we can. Jacob might not close deals, but I do. So why do you like Paolo? Look at him, he's 20. He look, he, he's NBA ready. He looks like a guy that's probably ball. Big Palo collectors in Germany. Wow. European market's taking off. They're coming over, right? Oh, we're coming. We're going to come over there. Heck yeah. I'll bring some Palo. 3.3. 3.4. I you need you need 20 bucks for that card. It's too much investment for me. You buy more Palo. I can't buy too much. 3.4. 3.5. Yeah, but what about the others? What? <laughs> 3.4 deal. 3.4? Okay. Wait, wait. And and we do the thousand on top of the others on these two. What about these two? What if we added those in the deal? And then you give me the you give me the difference. Or I give you the difference. What if we did 2K value here? So then 14. But that's 14 million. Yeah, but you're getting good cards at good prices. All right. Okay. I'll take it. Under pressure, we get deals done. We're picking up the LeBron James 210 subs. Nice auto, 9510. Easy deals here. Let's get it. Thanks. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. LeBron James, NT, game use patch out of 99. Let's get it. The guy over there offered me a thousand cash. So if I trade, I gotta get a little bit more value. I'll throw a number at you. Four. Four hundred. Seven and eleven. That's what I thought. Well then I'll think you're more straight for straight. Yeah. I just don't think I could get a thousand for the Mahomes. I think you're easy to get a mistake. It's it. Not with this PSA 10, it, it just it'd be tough. The ball, it's just a tricky card. It's a great card, but it's, Select doesn't sell well in the States. Prism, everybody wants Prism. Kabooms are crazy. I, you sell those, I sell those for 120%. Overcom over there, it's crazy. No worries, man. We tried. We tried, thank you. No deal on the Kaboom, but the next guy in line, I think he wants it. You interested? I'll take a look. Yeah, take a look at it. It doesn't matter whether you're in America or Europe. The Kaboom, Market is strong. I need all the kabooms I can get. It doesn't matter if it's American football. If it's a kaboom, people want it. Okay. It says squiggly, and I don't know why it is. Don't struggle. It's good. Thousand bucks. It's yours. I have to make sure it's got it gets a ten. That's the thing. Even I mean, even a nine five, nine five. You know, I think you'll get fifteen for it. PSA 10 is like a little over 2K. The thing is, it's this is like off-season low prices. Yeah, I know. Like, and in three months, that card is 1500. You know what I mean? I, I think so. Easy deals. He's picking up the AR Kaboom rookie. Let's get it. How much you want to buy that for? I'd rather get the gold. What is that? That's gold. A BJS A5 just did 1300. 1. 1.5. It's a good deal. 1.4. 1. 1.4. Okay, we'll make a deal. Now he has to sell me the Anthony Edwards 101. He's taking the Shea Blue Optic Auto out of 99. Let's get it. What a day. A lot of deals. Not as many as normal, but you know what? That's okay. We're here in London, and it has been a great day so far. It's only 4 p.m. The show's ending. We're used to going until, uh, you know, 10 p.m. in Dallas, but you know what? It's all right. There actually is a go-kart. Look at Jigger. He's walking there right now. That man's just on a journey by himself. He's going to try to get there. But there's a massive go-kart right here. We're going to go go-karting. We're going to get some food, and we're going to come back to trade night in about two, three hours. So far, it's been a great day. We picked up two cards. We're going to try to pick up a couple more. People were actually actually asking about American football. I didn't bring any American football because I thought nobody was going to want it. So next time I come here, I'm going to bring some American football. I brought like five American football cards and I sold one of them. So kabooms are on fire as always. We're going to go go-karting. We'll see you guys in a little bit. We're buying on Instagram all day, every day. So I'm going to go on Instagram right now and buy some more cards. See you guys soon. Let's get it. That's right. We're back. It is Sunday morning and we are here to buy some sports cards. I need some football and some basketball. There's a big borough over there. I'm going to try to make a play on it. It's 10 a.m. The room is booming. There's 100 people in line coming in the door. It's going to be a great day because that's the mindset. Every day when you wake up, you got to the mindset of today is a great day. It's not, oh, is it going to be a great day? Oh, eh, today's kind of, uh. No. Put in the work, have fun, and enjoy life, and it will be a great day if that's the mindset. We're going to walk this room. We're going to get some deals. We're going to enjoy London. Alan, you ready? Let's get we it, slept brother. three hours last night. The grind don't stop.
Let's get it. All right, last night at trade night, we did close a pretty big deal. We picked up the Anthony Richardson Purple Ice. These are numbered out of 225 PSA 10, and we got the Shea Roll Call PSA 9 Rookie Auto. They did lose last night, so that means the series now is Mavericks up 2-1. I think it's going to be a good series. I hope it goes 7. Anytime a series goes 7, it's always a great series. Speaking of the Mavericks, that's why you always hedge the bet, because we do have this beautiful Luka Auto, on-card auto, nice patch, numbered 1 out of 49, 10 auto, great card. So as one card might be a... Uh, the other card goes up. And I don't know if you guys heard me, but I did say I got a Palo Cracked Ice last night in the Uber on the way from London downtown. It was four in the morning. So, but back home, we're five hours ahead. So it was only like 11 o'clock. Uh, my buddy posted up a Palo Cracked Ice. We negotiated and we got a deal done on the Palo Cracked Ice BGS 9.5. When players play well in the playoffs, regardless if they win or lose, over the summer, their market is going to slowly rise, right? It's easy to think, oh, Palo lost, his market's gonna go down. No, in my opinion, He's cheap. Over the summer, the demand will go up, and as demand goes up on rare cards, prices go up. Let's walk. I need more basketball and football. Let's go. We are here with Lee from Diamondback, and he walked up to the table yesterday. We were kind of chatting, talking it up. Last night, he turned on a YouTube video, first time ever watching the channel, ever. and what happened? Yeah, so I, I got back to my hotel after meeting these, these American guys, started to do a bit of research, started to flick through YouTube, stumbled across my man's video, and then got lost in a rabbit hole for about two and a half hours of inspirational, life-changing, let's go forward uh, content, so yeah. yeah Absolutely. And so recently you quit your job. Yeah, I uh, decided I got into the hobby. I want to, I'm passionate about it. I'm passionate about everyone in it. I want to grow it. Uh, I decided one day that I'm sick of working for the man. I want to do me. I want to grow. I want people to grow with us as a community. So I quit and here you I am. Quit and here you I'm, are. I'm London Card Show with one of the, the guys the, the guys to be with. So Amazing. And, and you're just traveling to different shows in London? Every show, yeah. I'm, I'm up northwest, so I'm near Manchester ways. Okay. In, uh, Liverpool, Manchester. So we go up and down uh, as much as we can, getting the brand out, which yes. is on the back. So we Diamondback breaks, check them out on whatnot. Appreciate it. So, yeah. So, you pulled this card. This was one of my first cards from uh, a blast, uh, it was a blaster. Chronicle blaster, blaster. And then you graded it. I had it graded. And, uh, Brock yeah. Purdy, unparalleled rookie. PSA 10. Beautiful card. The 5 of 10. Wow. Yeah. 5 of 10. Now, so then he comes to the table, we're talking about some high end, and it just go, and he's like, I want to get to this level one day. And then I had to stop and I'm like, you will. And it just goes to show when you want more, whether in this hobby or in life, growth is automatically going to happen. We all started with Chronicles cards. We all started with base prison. We all started at cards that are 50, 100, $200, $500. But as you grow and as you want more, you grow into the 2K, the 5K, the 10K. I believe that next time I see Lee, he's gonna have a 5K plus card. I believe it. I believe it too, my friend. Let's, let's get it. Let's walk together instead of running. But uh, I like it. My little hint now, if you want something, screw it, go and get it. That's my, I say. Thank you very much, guys. Let's get it. Appreciate we're it. We're here Thank you. and we're putting in the work. Let's go. I was at 650. You gotta come up to seven. Come on, no, seven. No, now we're talking about it. 700. Seven. That's the number. I already uh, bought the commitment. Yeah, I gave you a great deal on that yeah, one. It was all right. Though. Grab it. I don't want to argue about like. I mean, after that raw sale, though, it's like. I need some room. The next one might be 800, though. After that raw sale. Yeah, that raw sale is crazy. Because a, a couple of them, a couple of them were over 800. They just fluctuate. You know, it depends on. If it's an auction, if it's a best offer. Give me a couple, so 680. All right, 680. He's grabbing the Anthony Richardson Purple Ice PSA 10. Nice sale here, appreciate it, bro. Right, thanks, yes, sir. Could I see it real quick? Yes, the bro? I'll meet you in the middle. 4K, done. I think I'm selling that a little low. But I think I think I think it's a fair deal overall because I'm not getting into this too heavy. I feel ha comfortable. You're getting liquid. This is the you know you throw a 3K sticker on it and and maybe some opportunity 25. You know just because he saw his for that doesn't mean that you're not gonna be able to get more. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day it's LeBron. Maybe in the middle of the middle. 4K. Let's go. 4K. I feel good. I feel good at four. 41. All right. 42. <laughs> all right, 42. Cool. All right, all right cool. let's do it. We had to get it done on Sunday. We're picking up the Joe Burrow flawless out of five. Easy deals here. Let's see what he got. He's grabbing the LeBron James Auto, Jordan Love Optic Downtown, Jordan Love Cosmic, and the Bryce Young Manga. Appreciate it, man. Cheers, man. And how can they find you? How can they find you on Instagram? Sports. Check him out. Easy deals here in London. 
Let's get it. All right, what do you do? How about five on this? 500. How about 550? All right, 600. How about 600? I'll do 600. Only because that's my guy. I got the I got the logo man and I got the flawless. I mean, it's like it's only there's only 20 of them because the green one non-numbered just did like I think like three and those aren't numbered. Yeah, so I mean I think this one being out of 20 because let me look at this. This year's Monopoly just did 175 out of 20. Not even a rookie. Not common. I don't know. I mean, his stuff is. People are. I'm the he, he's the future. I mean, Curry, Clay is gonna probably leave. Draymond's probably out. Yeah, I mean, the non number did 250. So at 400, what if I did this and I gave you 250 on top? That's fair. It's very tempting. This is what we're looking at. I'm trying to get De'Aaron Fox cracked ice. I'm gonna give him this Kaminga and some cash on top. I offered him 250 cash on top. He said it's tempting. It was a good offer. I just think, I, uh, I think next year I'd rather have more. You can get another one. 300 with Kaminga. Does that get it done right now? That's it. What's the number that takes it? I'll do it for seven. What about 650. All right, I'll take it for seven, just to get it done. All right, he got me, but you know what, it's Sunday, I need some cards. And we want a quick shout out to the Card Locker UK. So what do you guys do? Uh, so basically, it's a, a new service where you can uh, buy yourself a locker in the UK, allows you to shop anywhere on eBay, on Topsy's website, anywhere, whatnot, um, to buy cards, buy memorabilia, get it shipped to us, consign it in one place, and then just request one shipment straight over to you guys right. in America or wherever you are in the world. So right now, if somebody bought a $10 card, how much would it cost to ship? from Europe to America? $15. $15, so shipping is costing more than the actual card. And so when you look at the bigger picture of how can the UK grow, well, it comes from us in the US. Maybe there's a lot more cards we can buy if we look at the UK, but maybe you don't want to buy a $10 card if it costs 15 to ship. So this is a way to have a locker in the UK. You can then buy cards maybe for a month in the UK, different whatnot streams, different platforms, different avenues. Then you get about maybe four or $500 in cards. You can ship them all in one shipment. And then the, the cost, it just brings the overall cost down. Make sure you guys check them out at the Card Locker UK. And they just go on the website, they can sign up. Yeah, sign up straight. So you go on to thirddown.co.uk and then the card locker's got a, a link on there straight to that. Sign up on the website. Sweet. And is there is there a fee, a monthly yeah, subscription? So it's uh, $15, uh, 15 pounds a month, uh, but then there's discounts if you pay either quarterly, every six months or every year. You get For sure. a certain amount then free. Nice. Definitely check them out. We're here in London. Let's get it. And that concludes the London Card Show. Great way to end the show, picking up a couple nice cards that I've been looking for. Big football and a big De'Aaron Fox cracked ice. I'm always looking for De'Aaron Fox high end. Thank you everybody who said what's up, who did some deals. We're in London and you know what? I am very excited that I came. A lot of people ask me, yo, how do you go to all these shows? How do you afford to go to these shows? Go to the shows, you gotta buy some cards to help cover expenses. That's the easiest way to cover expenses. Don't go here and yes, you wanna sell, but when you go to new shows, go there to buy new cards. Cause when you buy new cards, you have new inventory to then rotate the inventory in and out and then you can sell it make some money and keep it moving. That is the way to do it. The only way to know if a show is good is you have to go and find out. I get texts all the time, is this show good, is this show good? I don't know if it's gonna be good or not. I really don't know. I know from maybe past experiences, but I don't know if next week's gonna be good or next month's gonna be good. But I'm going in there with an optimistic mindset, an optimistic life that, you know what? We're gonna make the most of no matter what happens. We're gonna have fun, we're gonna meet new people, we're gonna network, we're gonna have a great time regardless. And you know what? We're gonna make it a great show because that's what we choose to do. London, it's been great. Comment below your best pick of the weekend. Make sure you guys hit the subscribe button, like the video, Dallas next week. And I already know Dallas is gonna be nonstop buying, selling, and trading for 80 plus hours. Go put in that work, let's get it.